All right, so in this video, we're going to show how to uh, use Excel to calculate the variance and the standard deviation, okay? I'm going to walk you through both the sample uh, variance and standard deviation and the population variance and standard deviation. Again, generally speaking, you're going to be dealing with the sample size. You're not going to be dealing with the entire population. So you're, most of the time, you're going to be finding the sample variance and standard deviation. If, for whatever reason, you, you do have data on the entire population, then you need to be able to find the population variance and standard deviation, okay? So I've got a data set here. Again, notice it doesn't matter where you enter the data. The spreadsheet's going to read it uh, based on the formula that you, that you plug in, okay? So for sample variance, okay? Remember, anytime you start a formula, you're going to hit the equals button, okay? And I'm going to start typing in variance, okay? And you see quite a few options come up with VAR, okay? The first two, this is VAR.P and this is VAR.S. So these are the two we're gonna deal with here. So notice it says this calculates the variance based on the entire population. So we don't want that here. We're gonna choose VAR.S, okay? So I'm gonna double click there. I'm gonna highlight all the data points here. I'm gonna close parentheses and I'm going to hit enter, okay? So you can see the sample variance is 926.44. Now remember, you can you can move the decimal place. If you hit this, it, oh, let me go back up to that cell. If you hit this, it's going to make the decimal place go. Uh, you know, you're going to have fewer places after the decimal. If you hit this value, you're going to have more. Okay, so I'm going to go to the nearest uh, hundredth here. So our sample variance should be about 926.44. Okay, the sample st standard deviation. Uh, hit the equals button. Okay, I'm going to hit ST here. Notice that if I put the A there, there's only one option that comes up with STA, and that's not the one we want, okay? You can see these next two, this STDEV point P and STDEV uh, point S. Those are the standard deviations we want, okay? This one's going to be for the population, obviously, and this one's going to be for the sample. All right, so I'm going to double-click on this one, or you can type it all the way in. The open parentheses is already there for you. Highlight the data points, close parentheses, hit enter, and you've got your standard deviation, okay? Again, I'm going to move the decimal place. Oh, I've got to get back on that cell again. I'm going to move the decimal place to the nearest hundredth, so about 30.44, all right? Okay, so you've already seen how to do the population variance and standard deviation, but let's go ahead and do those. So equals VAR. I want uh, .p here. Double click. Open parentheses already there for you. Highlight the data set, close parentheses, hit enter, okay? Now this time, I'm going to want to add a place. So my population variance should be 833.80. All right, and finally, equals, okay, ST. Now I know it's DEV, and I want this, the population this time, so I'm going to double-click here. Open parentheses came up for me. Highlight the data points that I need. Close parentheses and hit enter. Okay, so again, let's go to that cell. I'm going to move the decimal place a couple times and round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so again, sample variance and standard deviation is most of the time what you're going to be dealing with because you're not going to be able to gather the data on the entire population. If for some reason you're able to get all the data you need for the entire population, then obviously you'll be dealing with the population variance or standard deviation. Okay. So that's how you use Excel to calculate those values.